On the side of the roads of Bangui, vendors sell petrol to passers-by. In the past two months, the Central African Republic has faced a severe petrol shortage. In the capital, motor taxi drivers are giving up their trade or buying higher prices to get fuel. When you go to the stations, you can't find any fuel. Whereas in the stations, you buy a liter for 885 CFA. But now the stations are not working. This makes the prices high. Hundreds of petrol station workers around Bangui are out of a job and have been replaced by curbside sellers. Some drivers have packed their motorbikes because of this shortage, because they don't want to have problems with their buses. If you don't buy at the stations, at the roadside it's more expensive and you lose revenue. For years, the price of petrol has been blocked by government at 1.32 euros a litre. On the street, a bottle costs up to 40% more. We pay taxes there, and on the Central African side, we also pay the custom officers. On their side, it's 100 francs CFA per can. Here, it's 250 francs CFA. What do we do? We don't earn billions. We're looking for ways to survive. Petrol sellers buy on black market where the product is often of poor quality from cheap additives. We just ask to have fuel at the stations because the fuel we take here plays on our carburetors and it damages them. The motorbikes are disturbed, damaged, so the authorities must find a solution so there's fuel in the stations. Despite mineral resources such as gold, diamonds and potentially even plenty of oil reserves, the World Bank estimates that 71 percent of Central Africa's 6 million people live below the international poverty line of $2.15 a day.